Hi, I'm Representative Tom Mahaffey, and I'm here at the 103rd Farm Show, and I'm with the Milton Hershey School. Again, it was such a great time last year with the cows, we decided to do the goat and sheep this year. So we're here with Carrie and Eliza, and they're with their goats. And we're going to talk a little bit of how they got here, you know, when you, did you start them as, and raise them as a kid? And uh, they started from birth, and then you, you took them to this point and brought them here to show today. So tell us a little bit about your goat, why he's a little different, because we see they don't have ears. But yes. they do have ears, but yes. they just don't have the floppy she ears. Have ears. Yeah. She has very small ears, and we call them gopher ears, because this is her breed of La Mancha, and so that's the way she's born. So she's not, they weren't cut off or anything, or she's... They're right there. That's just their breed. Well, that's it's very interesting. I know when I was here last year with you uh, on on an off day, I got to see your goats, and I wondered what happened. But yeah, yeah, that's truly yeah. their breed. Okay, well, that's wonderful. So, Carrie, tell us a little bit about your goat, Coconut. Uh, so this is one of our older goats. She had, uh, she gave birth five times, so she's six years old. Uh, she's a really great milker. The only problem is that we can't get her to stop making milk. So. <laughs> But other than that, she's a wonderful goat. She loves people and she loves eating food a lot. <laughs> yeah, looks like she's banged up a little bit there, but uh, yeah. she likes to scrape, I guess, and hit your hit your head, I guess. Yeah, she likes to hit her head against like hard surfaces. So when she's not rubbing against humans, she'll rub against like a metal grate, and so she just rubs the fur off of her head. Okay. So have you shown your goat today or this week, or you just started, or tell us a little bit? And did you win any awards? Yes, we got some ribbons today. We did our showmanship earlier, and we'll do our uh, goat show in general later on today with our specific breeds. So, okay. And what does it take to uh, show these goats? Like, what do you do, or how do you prepare to do that? Um, so we have to clip them, which is like giving them a haircut. So we'll clip under their udder to show off their udder, so it's not covered in fur. We'll clip their tails and if they um, have longer ears we'll clip the inside of their ears. Um, we'll also make sure that they're clean so we'll wipe off any dirt that's on them and we uh, give their nails little pedicures and we clip them in nice and neat. Alright. Well that's great. So they get their own pedicure, huh? Yes. Yeah, okay. Like, Do they enjoy that or is it hard to, to do they learn it as a you know, after growing a while, up. They get, after a while, they'll get used to it. Sometimes they get a little picky because they get tired of standing there, but some of them do enjoy it. Like, I know coconuts really chill and relax sometimes, but sometimes they get a little finicky, but that's all right. Okay. And how often do they, do you guys breed them? Do you have them for, a, you know, every year do they breed, or do you, it, that they have their own kids, right? Uh, yes. they, their babies are kids, yep. right? Yep. Okay. So how often do you do that? Is that a yearly thing? or is um, Usually it is a yearly thing. Um, it usually depends on the goat, depending on um, whether they do breed. Sometimes it doesn't work out, and sometimes the goat isn't ready for it, so we might wait a year. Like I know Samoa, she wasn't um, breeding for the one year, but so it just depends goat to goat, but mainly yes. Oh, great. So what's the most exciting thing about the farm show? I mean, I know you come here to show your animals and you do things, and they all talk about the milkshakes, but what do you like best about the farm show? Honestly, I like spending time with my animals because when I'm out of the show ring and we have free times, instead of like going and wandering around, I just like to like, you know, have fun with my animals. I'll feed them like cute little snacks and I'll just like spend time with them in their pens. So that's my favorite part. Great. And, you're, and um, your favorite part? Definitely the animals. That was my favorite part about it. I love working with them and hanging out with them. Like you'll see me chilling in the pen after a show or something, just even taking a nap or just petting them because they're really they're therapeutic and they're just really enjoyable to be around. So I enjoy it a lot. Well, I know you enjoy animals. So my question is, do you think you'll further your career in in farming or animals or it going on maybe to be a veterinarian or what do you plan on doing later in life? So I'm definitely considering going into like an animal science so that I can work with the animals and maybe not veterinary just because that's a little bit more advanced and I want to just work with them maybe on caretaking and breeding and all that because I just it is a passion of mine so it would be really cool to further my education on that and everything. So that's awesome great and you? Um, I'm more of a math person, so I wanted to go into accounting, but I did think about like having goats just as a personal hobby because I really do love spending time with my goats. So I was just thinking about getting that when I get older and more situated. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for having me today. It was a great opportunity to meet your goats, meet Coco, and uh, hopefully I get back here and get to see you maybe in the district, and we'll get to do that. So best of luck you. with your, your the remaining uh, farm show week here and I hope you win a lot of awards.